Okay, do, do, you, do you guys know uh, what's happening? No. <laughs> All right, uh, Neil, explain. Okay, outsourcing it to the brown guy. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so you guys have written down some topics during the break, and James is going to tell us those topics one by one. And we haven't seen those topics. We are going to just chat about them. Try to make them funny, see where the conversation goes, all off the top of our head. But just because knowing what both of us are like, we might get into some fucked up territory. We are gonna have a safe word where if we start getting into that tightrope as to, you know, being on the project or some shit, then <laughs> you guys get to say the safe word. Let's hear what what sort of a safe word do you want? Just yell any at Cumquad. Cumquad. That, do you use that in your personal life? There is a topic afterward. You have to guess. Is that what you might have to come quad to? Yeah, alright. I reckon come quad. Can anyone beat come quad? I like come quad. It sounds sexual, doesn't it? It's a delicious fruit. Is it a fruit? It's like a tiny little orange, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Does come quad sound good to everybody? Come quad. That sounds sexual. We're okay with yelling that out if we get too far. Yes. Oh, okay, alright. James, hit us with the first topic. Uh, pole dancing for fitness. <laughs> Such bullshit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I have never seen a clearer, like, what? Stop looking at my pussy. Stop, stop. No, it's for exercise. Stop. It's for exercise. Full lingerie. Stop. It's for the girls. All power to you, Queen, but let's be real. I've got a chub. Like. <laughs> have you seen this? I've seen a few of these, and I love that, like, people I follow on Instagram who are in maybe their, like, 20s, right? They'll have a pole dancing showcase mm. where they'll invite their parents to. <laughs> For real? Yes, 100%. And then they'll post a photo afterwards like, I'm so glad my parents got to see me in my element. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> just crotchless fucking, just like pussy out your dad. They're like, they've been proud of all the <laughs> Yeah, this is way better than the engineering degree I recommended. <laughs> Yeah. Who's there? Any pole dancers here? Any? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's go, baby. What's your take on it? I just think it's fun. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but is there, is there part of it, like, for real? Like, is yeah. there any it's sense of what we're saying? It is hard. It is hard to pole dance in terms of fitness. Like, that would be quite a bit different. Sure, but that's sort of not what we're talking about, eh? <laughs> safe space. <laughs> Unless there's like some sort of like commune of pole dancers that are like never admitted sexy. <laughs> You'll never be welcome back. <laughs> Say again? <laughs> but, okay. Uh, do, is there any part of you that goes like, yeah, these TikTok videos that we're doing in the leather assless chaps? <laughs> Might be softcore porn. <laughs> Is there any part? Okay, I'm being very politic with that. mad. No, it's awesome, but I just love that like you can't even claim something might be sexual. People like, <laughs> like immediate eyebrows. Yeah, there's like a phallic fucking pole there where you got your legs around, just yeah. wrapped around. They all have like dildos strapped to their forehead and be like, what? What? It's for fitness. <laughs> Equivalent. Where we can look. Where we like, can we never show up with the boys that are just like fucking dicks out. 
dicks out, yeah, yeah. assholes for like clear view. <laughs> and they'd just be like, what? It's fucking CrossFit. <laughs> It's good for mental health, okay? We have a community. <laughs> no, I would do that CrossFit. I'd be down. I'd be down. <laughs> yeah. like, to be fair, as I was saying it, I was like, this is a million dollar business idea. <laughs> I mean, yeah, naked CrossFit. Naked CrossFit with the boys. <laughs> naked CrossFit with the boys. <laughs> Lifting weights and talking about Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Fishnet stockings as well. I mean, like, the transient nature of life is there'll always be death. So, so one more, cuz one more. I mean, some of the some of the attire I've seen at my gym is uh, is very revealing from the from the boys. You know, like really short shorts and like that singlet. That's not even a singlet. Yeah, it's like a fucking just a line. And you yeah. can see nips, you can see everything. It is mad, dude. I do love it. it would, but that's the like the nature of masculinity. We get more and more feminine the more masculine we get. It's a horseshoe. It's a, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's like you're here where you're just wearing shirts and, a, and like jeans, and then you get massive, and then you just go like, what about nipple tassels? <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm so straight. I fuck men. That's <laughs> if you haven't dominated another one. Yeah. Real. Like, I'm not a real man, hey. Straight up. <laughs> you, you remember, like, you remember Ziz? Yes, I do. Remember Ziz? Legend. Ziz is such a legend, but straight up, like, the gayest shit out. <laughs> like, no, R.I.P. He, sorry, he's dead. <laughs> sorry to do that, Terry. So Just, for, for the people who don't know, Ziz was a bodybuilder uh, like 10 years ago and he got a bit famous on, he, on the internet. He made aesthetics popular, right? So like, you know those videos where you see like the lebs like dancing but like perfect arms? And they're like muzzing and shit? Does that make sense? Mu you know muzzing where you do the... Well, you... And it's... And it's, it's straight? <laughs> <laughs> he invented that. And so that's like, but we all looked up to him. He was like an icon. At least where I'm from, in Logan, that was the icon. I think you're under something with like the horseshoe theory of masculinity there, because I don't know if you guys saw like recently, there were these like hectic bros that protested in Newtown in Sydney. And they were like protesting the LGBT community by like singing in King Street in Newtown. And then they got in a circle and prayed for them. And you've got to admit, that's the gayest way to protest the gays. <laughs> Where are they oh, you just go, that's a good joke. <laughs> oh, it's a circle joke. Yeah, yeah, a spiritual circle joke of sorts, yeah. Is the testosterone? I felt boosted when I was in there. <laughs> You guys should join. <laughs> All right, hit us with the next topic. What we got? Uh, school experiences. I'm so glad I ended with experiences. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that little pause there between school oh, and experiences. The tone in your voice told me it was going to end differently. <laughs> school experience. What does that mean? That's very broad. Just any kind of. Uh, I'm just reading what they wrote. Who said school experiences? <laughs> yeah. I is that oh just our school experience? Yeah, awesome. All right. Tell us something fucked. <laughs> we should rename this part of the show to "Tell Us Something Fucked." <laughs> That's what it's become. <laughs> well, one time in year ten, I started pole dancing. <laughs> Ziz <laughs> pole dancing, that would be mad. That's okay. mad. But, uh, ah, oh, school is big. School got to be, but make it more, like, what sort of an experience? You're talking, like, a sexual one or, or like... A... He went to a Catholic have... school. I didn't have any. Yeah, but other than that... <laughs> I didn't have many of those. But uh, we're talking, like, uh, specific, just any school experience? Well, I wrote school and then paused and then... 
changed my mind where I want to go, bro. Right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh, okay. You're like, I'm going to flex. I'm going to tell them that I know the word experiences. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive, bro. <laughs> Uh, what was school like for you, Neil? Yeah, it was just like average, I think. I don't know if uh, there was anything particularly special. Did you get bullied? I got a bit bullied, I reckon. I was the drama boy, so yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went yeah. to school. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we just had like Tibetan monks. Everyone... <laughs> <laughs> These guys probably bullied me, actually. <laughs> Money every time I come into Newcastle. Yeah. It is, uh, it's very hard to be like the drama boy in an Australian public high school. Yeah, yeah especially because like you'll get the bullies will give you a chance, yeah. right? Hold on, they they will give you a chance. They're like, boy, it's like because it's, you know they want. The, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, oh, it's like for the girls, right? And then you go like, no, nah, I just love Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> That's when the bullying starts. Because they can't understand loving art. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless it's like aggressively violent hip hop. Yeah. Then, yeah. They're like, if, like, if it's 1-4, I understand. Yeah. But if you're like, no, I just, I'm really into understanding the human condition, it's not about the girls at all. Then you're fucked. Because <laughs> that was my experience. Because I, yeah, I, I got given, I remember the day I got given an hour where it's like, oh, you're pretty good, you get to meet girls. And I'm like, no, nah, they're just a good group of girls and we, we all do plays together, it's nice. <laughs> And then I like I, wore, I started wearing hoods to school. I was like, I can't. The shame is too great. I remember I got I got punched one time for holding a guitar. <laughs> yeah, some, yeah. Some guy thought it was pussy. <laughs> this Kiwi kid. Look, I was drunk. Okay. <laughs> this Kiwi kid called. I don't know, to this day, I don't know if it was his birth name or not. But he, he saw me with the guitar and I was like practicing in music class and he was like, escape. And like, like, the side of the head, I was like, what? It's like, I was like, I'm never, I'm not, I can't do this again. Uh, what I could have been. We need, we need in the SA 300. <laughs> Did you ever get? Did you ever get into fights in school? I had one fight in Year Seven. Oh, it was a handball fight. <laughs> yeah. How gangster is that? I was in Year Seven. He was in Year Eight. Woo! Yeah. You know what happened? These Year Eight kids, they, as you do when you're in Year Eight, they're just like pushing us out of our turf, yeah, like yeah, some yeah, Israel yeah. Palestine yeah. shit, like just fucking yeah. us out now. And one of them, I went to like the smallest Year Eight kid that was in that group, and he had glasses, and I took his glasses off and threw them on the floor. Oh. Yeah. What the and then and then he he was fucking fucking cute. And before he could punch me, he had to go and pick up his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> he picked them up and fucking he got me pretty good. That's funny. And then I got him like once, and then our friends were like, oh fuck, stop it's working, it's not fucking worth it, bro. Over him. <laughs> yeah. Over a handle. And then for the rest of school, five more years, like every time I saw him, it was so fucking awkward. Like. <laughs> That is such like a nice little moment of victory before you get your ass kicked. <laughs> when he drops the glasses, and you're like, yeah, I'm the big dog. And then he hits you directly, perfectly in the face because he has his glasses back on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he nailed that. Did you ever get in a fight? Nah, the banger thing was the closest. <laughs> the banger thing was by far the closest. I never got into a fight. I was a talker. Yeah. I'd be like, boys, boys. <laughs> I'd be like, look, we look like idiots. <laughs> like, I just called someone's mama cunt. And I'm like, oi, oi, oi. Boys, why are we resorting to violence? <laughs> We're better than this. There's always, there's always the one guy that's like, what's for? It's not worth it, man. What's for? Yeah, it's not worth it. And then the guy like, <laughs> going red in the face. No, I remember one time I tried to punch someone. <laughs> I couldn't even try. I couldn't go through with it, dude. Like, I started crying. <laughs> I was like, fuck off, man. I was like, fucking alright. He's like, are you crying? <laughs> dude, it was so embarrassing. 
I couldn't go through with it. That's a good tactic, make the bullies feel so bad for you that they can't even bully you. Yeah, man. Yeah, that everyone's like, it's not worth it for, in the other way. They were yeah. like, don't fuck with him, it's sad, it's not worth it. <laughs> let's, let's open it up to the audience. Does anyone have a crazy high school experience? Catholic? Oh, a secular pedophile. A public pedophile. Oh, there's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than a poor pedophile. <laughs> Getting picked up in a Ford Focus. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't want those Aldi chopper chops, man. I want the good. <laughs> I got I got molested over a Bernie Beetle. Ew, dude. <laughs> So what, how did people find out? Like, what, what was the... Um, it was that classic, like, for anyone that's been in public school and, like, you know, it's like, dies or something. It's classic, classic, yeah, the classic... <laughs> the classic yeah. public school experience, Every yes! <laughs> Kids like dies, people get horny. <laughs> it's... Like, oh, they're all serious. Like, they're serious. Oh, yeah. Like, all the year 17s are probably going. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest thing again. They're like, all right, so obviously, uh, I won't say his name for anyone that knows him. <laughs> <laughs> the principal's actually uh, been taken to jail. And we're, you know, and everyone's straight away like, whoa. Yeah, 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 of course. Oh, they, they have the Tibetan monk chant going, yeah. Oh, Mr. Campbell's a pedophile. told you he was a sexual predator. Yeah. How did everybody yeah. respond? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god. What? Yeah. Is he still, where's he now? Still in jail. Wow! Good. Good. Fuck, yeah. yeah, true, fair enough. Oh yeah. my god. And he definitely did it. Well, yeah, yeah I won't go into details. It's pretty fucked. Yeah, yeah don't go into detail. <laughs> I think we can't really beat that high school experience. Eh? Yeah, dude. Did, can anyone beat principal as a pedophile? Yes. Principal, kill yourself. I regret every question I've asked tonight. <laughs> Just say, yeah, was it the same guy? <laughs> yeah. do, do we go further into that? Ah, uh, fuck it. Well, it's not okay. Listen. Why? <laughs> Would you not put out? Is that why? There was a series of, pred of, of sexual predators at the school and he was getting the blame for it so he just went, nah, I'm punching out. Oh shit, so your school had like the Avengers of pedophiles. <laughs> Wait, so he wasn't actually a... Nope. And so he felt resp- Oh, oh yeah. fuck. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh. Kumquat, kumquat, god, kumquat. <laughs> so remember, Imagine, remember that handball fight I was talking about? <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> that would be wild if we were like, damn, that's tragic. Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we're here once a month. <laughs> Alright, do we change, do we change topic? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I think there's some funny stuff in this. <laughs> no, no, let's go to the next topic. Alright, let's go to the next topic. Uh, nude male life drawing. <laughs> Wait, did you say nude male life drawing? Yeah, so like when the dude's up there posing and then everyone has to draw his, his business. His, his, well, he has to draw more than just the penis. <laughs> Oh, that would be mad. If you go in and you just draw a dog, and then you turn it around. <laughs> Holy fuck, wait, so, is, that some, is that someone's job? No? Or is someone just like starting one of these classes? Who asked that? 
is what I'm getting at. <laughs> We've already hit it. pedophile principal killed himself. <laughs> you can raise your hand. Uh, well, was that you? Okay. Are you? Uh, it, no, so I went to one for a friend's birthday, and I was like, "This is great." So I do want to start one. Oh, you're gonna start where it's just ah. dudes showing up. Basically what we said, but without CrossFit. <laughs> hey, hands up, any, uh, which dudes would do that? Would, would like, get nude and- We found the biggest dicks in the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My Terminator initially started going up, big dick, yeah. big dick, big dick. Definitely. <laughs> Who's the man well endowed? showed you like an advertisement it was like look how big this dude's dick is <laughs> come in and draw it <laughs> and then you got there you're like this is fucking false advertising <laughs> so you got yeah catfished by a nude male model <laughs> were you expecting were you expecting a bigger dick <laughs> okay was he was he was he ripped why did, was he there? <laughs> I could never imagine being. I mean, I I, okay, yeah, for it, yeah. <laughs> that guy has something that I don't, because I'm like, I could not imagine showing up like soft, tiny dick and chubbed. Like, like you still have sauce on your chin, and you're like, <laughs> go on, draw me, do it. I want it. I want you to draw me. How long, how long did this whole, how long did it take? How long was he nude for? Two hours and he didn't move. He's in the same spot. <laughs> he, has he has a cowboy hat. <laughs> for the dick, for the dick, is it? He's like, look, he's a southern tiny penis. <laughs> Yeehaw, man. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, I think. I kind of hella respect that. Yeah, go for it. If you want to do it. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. I hope it was a tiny hit. Like, maybe it would be funnier if he was uncircumcised as well. <laughs> and then he's yeah. like, he had his own little kumquat. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, so is that like a is that like a regular bachelorette party thing that people do or like? Yeah, a lot of girls go crazy. Interesting. And you, you said you would you would be the model if you were asked? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> really, you would? I'm not going to say this, they get paid for it. How much do they, but surely it's not much. They get paid $100 to pose. Oh, okay, that's so cool. Well. <laughs> How many would now, knowing that it's $100? <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. <laughs> the cost Let's of go. living Let's has hit us all. <laughs> I've had to start showing my dick to strangers. <laughs> Yeah, straight yeah. up, bro. Put that away. That's, man. Good. that's like 50 bucks an hour, you know. That's yeah. not bad. That's a good rate. There's also bachelorette parties where you can go and do a nude man drawing and then go to pole dancing. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 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 Don't say that. Oh my god. Chicks are getting their Pinterest, <laughs> Pinterest boards up right now. <laughs> 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 For the big day. Hey, there you go. Do you do you actually do pole dancing? I do. Oh, nice. How's that for you? Yeah. Same. If, all right. You don't think there's anyway. There are levels. So I'd imagine the bachelorette party—they're all kind of novices to pole dancing. So it would. Uh, it's not necessarily, they can't do the tricks and all that sort of stuff. I had my secret year old stepmom with me, so no. Oh, nice. Nice. What's your stepmom's nice. name and number? <laughs> <laughs> she sounds hot. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> We've seen way too much stepmom porn. Yeah. I'm like, right now, I'm thinking, like, I hope she's stuck somewhere. <laughs> she was 
she might be liable to compensation. <laughs> wow. Oh, interesting. Oh my god. I like that this is just. Um, it's, doesn't this feel like a very nice, like, eighty-person podcast? <laughs> enjoy this vibe. This is the closest I've ever felt to being a black preacher. <laughs> oh, like, yes, Lord! <laughs> sure, how much time do we have left? We have time for one or two more topics. Woo! Hit us with, uh, hit us with one more. What's the, what's the, what's the juiciest one? Yeah, what have we got there? Oh, uh, there's some pretty crook stuff on this piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> how about, hit us, hit us with two and then we'll ask the audience of those two which one they want us to do. Alright, so we'll go with the tame one, uh, pegging, or the benefits of being diagnosed with cancer and then a smiley face next to it. <laughs> it seems like being diagnosed with cancer gives you a positive attitude based off that note. But what do you guys want? Do you want to hear about pegging or something that we are totally not prepared to talk about? There it is, yeah. <laughs> Well, if there's, a, if there's ever an excuse to get pegged, it's <laughs> when you've been diagnosed. Dude, that has to be the end of the day. You're serious. It won't make it worse. Yeah. That's how it comes You're right. We... <laughs> pegged by the stepmom. That's mad. Ma Ma'am, have you ever pegged anybody? Never? You should give it a go. It's mad. It's mad. No, okay, I feel like we can combine the two topics. Yeah, let's try to do that. Let's give that a go. Yeah. <laughs> Did someone just get diagnosed with cancer in the room? <laughs> your father? Yeah, I'm Your dad just got diagnosed with cancer? A few months ago, and uh, it's not so good. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> we didn't write it, though. You didn't write it, so. Oh, okay. No, that's alright. It's okay. No, no, that's okay. Oh, you know what? If if I ever was gonna be the nude male model, <laughs> I feel like if I was terminal, I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Let him have his life. You didn't have to. He's you not... didn't have to picture him. <laughs> Yeah, he was talking about himself, to be fair, and you were like, ah, oh, my dad's dick. <laughs> That's war on you. <laughs> but who, uh, we always think about our dad's dicks. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> we all came from one. I come to one. <laughs> <laughs> Shit joke. Shit joke. <laughs> Shit joke. Shut up. Shut up. They're not all going to be bangers. <laughs> You're going to meet his former principal soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel, but you're right. I feel like if you were given some time to live, pegging is the way to go. Yeah, all the stuff we've talked about tonight is what you can do. You can, you can pole dance, you can do nude crossfit, you can... Mm. Or, not, not the pedophilia, but... <laughs> yeah. you, can, you can be half Greek. Yeah. <laughs> Just start wearing chains. <laughs> Who's, who's been pegged in the room? Give me a little woo. Where my butt boys at? Give me a woo. Where my butt boys at? Give me something, a hand, anything, or one finger. You know how it is. <laughs> Bro, it's mad. The prostate orgasm is a holy thing. Are you serious? Yeah. Bro, have you, have you ever had a finger in there? No. Yeah, you have? It's mad, isn't it? You don't... Yeah, bro, spit on it, dummy. <laughs> you don't just chuck it in there after a day's work. <laughs> Caramel lube in all. Caramel lube. How'd it taste? <laughs> like shit. Like shit. That's the best Caramel joke of all night. <laughs> Got to that before I did. You did it. So you, so you did Carol. It did nothing. Hey, bro, you started this. Is a wuss. That's one. Oh, this is awesome. She's calling you a bitch. Get it, idiot, dude. It's wild. You ever wonder? No, 
you need it. You need it, bro. Trust me. You ever wonder why the stereotype of like gay dudes is all like free and flowy and like, hey? It's because they've been unlocked. It's the butthole was the door and the dick was the key. Like it, it did something genuinely. Like I'm feeling very confident now, and that's why because I've been unlocked, dude. Genuinely. So when it happened, honestly, for real, after I was done with the little finger and the, you know what I mean, I was, dude, I called my dad after it was done. I, I, I said, I, I forgive you. That's what I said. It was insane. Someone asked me what my age is the other day, and I said four years old because I counted from the day I was reborn. <laughs> Highly recommend. <laughs> I would love for you to like reconnect with uh, from high school <laughs> and tell him that uh, finger up the butt is what happened. Yeah, I'm like, brother, look, I know we've had our differences, but let me chuck one in. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon, I reckon, I feel like, if any, does anyone have anything else that they want to add before we end this? Yes. Yes, please. See, after you called your dad, I uh, just saw my dad's dick. <laughs> How is it? Chody. You think your dad has a choke? Yeah. Have you seen your dad's dick before? Like, uh, three days ago. Wow. In over, what circumstances? Like, like over Zoom or what? <laughs> Let's just say, very open family. Oh, okay, true, fair enough. You know, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Just gloss over that. Okay. People see their dad's dicks, bro. Yeah. yeah. So oh, it's yeah, like yeah. your your dad will walk around the house naked. Yes, sir. <laughs> what an alpha move. That's okay. <laughs> you came from here. Yeah. <laughs> Did, you've never seen your dad's dick? When I was like a, a kid, when he taught me how to piss. Like yeah. in the urinal, he took you me to, to the talk? urinal, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I'd never been to a urinal, and then I remember him like, eh, this is how you do it. Yeah, no. Yeah. And he got his dick out to show you? Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's a way to teach you without getting your own dick out. How did it feel being head height to your dad's dick? Bro, I'm still head height to my dad's dick. <laughs> that's it! Dude, that's it! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you.